If any guy out there in high school, junior high, wants to play the point guard position, they should try to be like John Stock. As you would expect, Stockton was not a flashy ball handler by any means, but he was most certainly a very good dribbler considering that Utah's offense was predicated on having the ball in his hands most of the time. Stockton's big hands allowed him to control the ball effectively, and he had a low dribble that was hard to steal. His go-to move was the hesitation dribble crossover, and he loved to do it in the pick and roll in order to initiate the play. Another one of Stockton's favorite moves is a spin move on the break in order to get himself a layup. Stockton was also one of the best in his time at splitting the defense in order to get past the double team. If you also notice, John always keeps his head high whenever he dribbles, which allowed him to scout the defense and make the best possible pass to his teammates. I'm not sure how Stockton became such a good passer, but one thing that people don't know is that Stockton was also a top baseball pitcher in high school. This video showcases Stockton's accuracy when it comes to threading the needle in traffic better than I can describe it. Stockton had an array of ways to get the ball to players, but his signature pass was the one hand off the dribble lead pass, especially on the break. He also had the peripheral vision to make passes that the defense cannot expect. In the pick and roll, Stockton also made the perfect bounce pass to a running Malone so that Carl could make an easy layup. He didn't always make the flashiest pass, but Stockton was always able to make the most difficult passes look easy, and that was what made him possibly the best passer ever. One of the most underappreciated aspects of Stockton's game has to be his shooting. When he came into the league, Stockton did not have three-point range and he depended on getting his points from layups. But as his career went on, Stockton became a 50-40-85 guy and one of the premier shooters in the league. His form was an unusual slingshot mechanism, but it allowed him to avoid getting his shot blocked because of the space it created between the ball and the player guarding him. He also had a high release whenever he shot close to the rim or attempted a layup, which made it difficult for the opposing defenders to block his shot. Also, his big hands allowed him to have a soft touch around the basket which helped him in shooting in traffic. However, just as important as his shot form and range was his shot selection. Stockton was a pass first PG which also meant that he didn't like taking tough shots. The riskiest shot you would see him take would be a fast break three point shot off the dribble, although the shot would only occur if he couldn't make a pass to another player. Stockton also didn't shoot more than 12 times per game throughout a season at any point in his career, but that didn't matter because he never hurt the team from shooting too much. What Stockton could have done though, and Isaiah Thomas mentioned this on an episode of Open Court, was look to shoot more late in games. There were times where Stockton was focused too much on passing the ball that oftentimes he wouldn't attempt to create a shot for himself even though he was very good at it. And that kind of bailed out the defense and put the ball into the hands of a weaker player. As you would have guessed by his accolades and from being the all-time leader in steals by a huge margin, Stockton had a reputation during his playing time as one of the best defenders in the point guard position. He wasn't big or very athletic, but he was crafty and gritty. One way that Stockton made himself so good on defense was his help defense, which is something you don't think of in a point guard. There was this trick that Stockton would do where he would sneak up on players and steal the ball when they're driving towards the hoop. Another thing Stockton loved to do was to defend the entry pass to the post by standing in between the passer and the post player, anticipate the pass, and poke the ball while it's in the air. His quickness in his youth allowed him to recover back to his man in time, although as he got older, this became the one glaring issue in his defensive play. Regardless, Stockton was still a tricky player on defense, especially since he would do things like kick the ball, chip players, flop, and push back at players and still get away with all of this. But make no mistake, Stockton was also willing to put in the effort to run through screens and defend bigger players on switches. Defense is all about effort at the end of the day, 
and Stockton gave it his all on every play. What other players are more synonymous with the most common play in basketball than Stockton and Malone? 20 years in the league together and the only solutions to the pick and roll was to hope that the shot somehow misses or that the ball ended up in someone else's hands. This is where you can really see all the different aspects of Stockton's game come together. His ball handling allowed him to keep control of the ball even when the defense is hedging the pick and roll or when there's a ton of traffic. His hesitation dribble crossover allowed him to either get his defender to run into a hard Malone screen or to leave the player lagging behind as he gets to the rim or to an open shot on the court. Now if you choose to go under the screen, then you're letting an excellent shooter get a good look. And I haven't even mentioned his ability to pass the ball to the roll man or even across the court to an open shooter. Very difficult play to defend, and much of that has to do with all the different things that Stockton excelled at. On top of all that, Stockton's ability to communicate with the role man allowed everybody to be in sync with the play, and it got to the point where Stockton and Malone would communicate purely with eye contact and put big men such as Shaq and David Robinson at their mercy. 20 years and nobody could find a solution to the simple yet effective play. Putting it all together, Stockton was an incredible player with amazing fundamentals and feel for the game. He was also a knockdown shooter, a terrific defender, and a guy who gave his all to win. There is a reason Stockton's assist record is so much higher than even the second most assist leaders of all time, and that is because he is one of the greatest point guards in the history of basketball.